right, so we're making hay uh, back in Jersey. Obviously, back in New Jersey, this is what it is like when we're baling here. For those of, for the folks that were in North Carolina that um, saw me baling straw, this is what I normally do. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is pretty much what this is. This channel is all about is making hay, and you know making hay. I uh, used to grow corn and soybeans and things like that, but we are baling with two crone balers now, and right there, uh, Timothy's going to be coming along with the New Holland uh, 570 square baler, little, little idiot block builder, and we're going to make a bunch of little idiot blocks. I'm going to bale the outside rounds of that field into uh, big bales because it's just a little damp for the uh, just a little bit damp to put into little bales yet so that's what the deal is uh, I'm gonna set this camera down because we got I'm gonna tell you I'm not having time much time to uh, put cameras up and, and show what we're doing but we're bailing hay you know we were down in North Carolina working hard down there bailing that straw up and had the time of our lives as far as agricultural uh, endeavors go but it's no, no place like home. I mean, there's just no place like home. And, and what makes home so much nicer is that, you know, it's your own stuff. You don't have to impress anybody, you know, that sort of thing. But the one thing that impresses me most about this whole thing is this lovely lady that's coming right at me right here. This is my wife. Now, she came into this country. There she is, so pretty. She does not like to be on, on film, but she came into this country 10 years ago. No, I did not import her. She is not an import wife. She is Teresa, my wife. Um, when she came into this country 10 years ago, the most agriculture she ever knew was done by hand in the Philippines because that's how they do their stuff there. Everything is pretty much manual labor. Uh, manual labor is cheap. And it just seems to be the way they like to do things there. Uh, is there more efficient ways? Absolutely. Would they enjoy doing it with tractors and stuff? I'm sure they would. But again, it's not a very wealthy country, so they don't get to do the things that you would think they should and as far as agriculture. The things that we see here in the United States are so much different than what they would see there. And so 10 years ago she came into the country. She didn't even know what a John Deere tractor was. Matter of fact, there she is again sticking her tongue out. Not only did she not know what a John Deere was, she didn't know what a crone was. And neither, well I knew what it was, I just didn't, I didn't believe in the crone idea because I'm an American and I love American stuff. But there's one thing I've learned. Bailers buy a German made drone over an American made Heston because honestly, those are the only bailers that are made in the United States are the Agco Heston. Uh, they're just not made here, everything else is made overseas. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I don't know how many years ago it's been now when she, me and Teresa got together. I guess it was 2015 already. So let's say four years ago, not quite four years ago. Yeah, not quite four years ago. She had never driven a John Deere tractor. She had never even run a tractor. And now she she likes the tractor that I'm in, but with William, I think she needs to be safer. And the safest tractor I have on a baler is that 8530, in which she is running quite well. Now, is she an expert? By no means is she an expert, but she is an amazing individual that uh, is willing to learn. I can't say she's willing to listen so much, but she does listen. She hears me, let's put it that way. She hears me. Um, experience is something that she has in other fields, not agriculture. Oh, come on, baby, don't do it. Uh, I'm bailing some marginal material here. It's uh, a little bit green. Not bad. It's just a little bit damp. Let's put it that way. Uh, the bales are rolling off of here 16, 1700 pounds, and they're not too bad. They're about 25% moisture. And she just got done playing in the mud, in which I don't like doing either. Where's she going? There she goes. Um, so, anyway, uh, yeah. 
So she never ran tractors in the Philippines. She did manual labor on her grandparents' farm when she was a young girl. Uh, she was pretty much a city girl up until that point. And then, of course, here she is. Guys, there she's giving me hell. Oh, she's giving me hell. See, she didn't realize that this video was going to be about her, and honestly, neither did I. But, you know, in all my life, all I ever wanted was a partner that would actually work with me on the farm. On the work with me. You know, and not do paperwork and that sort of thing, which there's, there's nothing wrong with a wife that does your bills and your paperwork and all that stuff. And she would do that if I asked her to, and she does to a point uh, do that, because I do ask her sometimes to do some of the billing and stuff. And uh, yeah, but for the most part, I write out my own bills and, and stuff. So yeah, with that being said, uh, I, a woman that works with you or a wife that works with you on the farm in the machines knows you and knows how to work with you and gets the job done. And I've been with American women and now I'm really going to probably tip off a few people in the wrong direction. But look at this girl. I mean, she's even she's even listened to me. There she goes. She lifted the header up before she went into the ditch. And these are washouts that you just can't get your hands on. Uh, but I've been with my first wife. Uh, she did very limited tractor operating. Um, she just when she was going to work full time on the farm, she decided that she would work on someone's cock full time too. And yes, that's what happened. She decided she would have an extramarital affair and, uh, you know, ruin the relationship and really drag my kids through some pure hell. Oh, there, there are some guys. So anyway, that's okay, you know. She did what she did and it's over with. And I'm a better man for it, you know. If she hadn't done that, I would have never met uh, Teresa. So anyways, uh, this is a lifestyle if you know anything about it. But Teresa, she jumped in with both feet and there she is every day, you know, taking care of our son. William is in that tractor as well, just so you know, because she won't let me have him, uh, but this, which isn't true. I had him here the other, I had him in the, uh, yesterday, I had him for a while, but for the most part. That little boy is with her and no questions asked, it, it, she just does it, but I don't know. I guess I'm just really happy with my wife. Um, you know, and every woman has their day and can be really unbearable and Teresa's no exception. She definitely does have her, her faults as well as her, her uh, you know, attributes, beautiful attributes. And she's a lot of fun to be around. And this just makes me happier than hell. Did you see that? She thinks I'm doing... Anyway, I'm going to put this video up and she's probably going to demand me to take it down because she is a very humble girl. Uh, she doesn't like praise, which is a shame, but I love her and I praise her. And uh, she just doesn't like praise so much. But anyways, with that being said, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of American women that work alongside their husbands in their jobs, uh, whether it's agriculture or any other business, and I know some, uh, but I just never found one. And being, I live in New Jersey, agricultural girls, when you say, oh, farmer in New Jersey, they automatically think that you're a horse farmer. And uh, I even looked at farmersonly.com at one point in my life, and. You know what it was? It was horse farmer, horse farmer, horse farmer. And they're all looking for a man that owns a farm that they can have horses on. If you ever look at farmers only, oh, fuck you. Okay. Come on, asshole. Yeah, she did it too. Anyway, that's it. She's going again. Good job. This is a little bit damp and you can't go too fast because it'll cause issues, but she got it. Woohoo! Jammed up, see? She does it too.